Pursuant to Governor Baker's March 12, 2020 order suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law, General Law Chapter 30A, Subsection 18, and the Governor's March 15, 2020 order imposing strict limitations on the number of people that may gather in one place. This meeting of the North Reading Community Planning Commission is being conducted via remote participation. No in-person attendance of members of the public will be permitted, but every effort will be made to ensure that the public can adequately access the proceedings as provided for in the order. A reminder that persons who would like to listen to this meeting while in progress may do so by calling. 301-715-8592, meeting ID 985-430-0926, or uh, by computer video at https colon slash slash us02 web.zoom.us slash j slash 985-430-0926. Sorry, I don't know if I needed to do that. Okay, but. I, I do want to uh, mention that this meeting is being recorded. Okay, um, so right off the bat, we um, want to start with, uh, the, you want, Jen, uh, Danielle, you want to open us up with? Sure, um, so I see Mr. and Mrs. Brogan are here. Um, mm -hmm. We received a request to extend the time for completion of their subdivision um, at 35 Cedar Street uh, for one year until October 2nd, uh, 2021, um, just to allow for, um, I think there have been a number of uh, complications and extenuating factors. I don't know if um, they would like to say anything about that, but I've included their request in our meeting materials tonight. So do you guys wanna say anything? Are you all set? Because I, I mean, I don't think there's any issue with this really. No, that's not for this. Yeah. They're on mute, so let me unmute them. Can we unmute them? <clears throat> if you unmute yourself, we'll be able to hear you. Oh. Get a little microphone with a mute on it. Unmute yourself. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Do you want to comment on anything here, or are you all set? Or Oh, with us? Yes. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah no, that, uh, we'd appreciate the extra time. We actually haven't, you know, we had a purchase you know, uh, land from our butters, and yeah. they're actually having hard times because of the COVID and the trying to get the property separated. Um, they, they've just, we haven't been able to even purchase that parcel. Yeah, well, that's okay. We've had difficulty with, we would get, we can't do any public meetings with the whole thing has been, everybody's having difficulties. So I don't see any uh, issue with us uh, granting you a little relief since we've needed a bit ourselves. Okay. Thank you. All right, I appreciate it. Okay, no problem. No problem. Thank you. All right, thank you. Yep, you're welcome. Yep, bye-bye. So, um, do you have a, uh, do we have a motion for this extension, Chris or, or Danielle? Do you I, want I to have it? it, just let me get to it. Okay. okay, I was gonna say she can read it if you don't have it. I, I can read it. it. Okay, got it, Chris. I move that the Community <laughs> Planning Commission vote to grant the requested extension time to complete the 35 Cedar Street def definitive subdivision including the binder, utilities, and drainage for one year until October 2, 2021. Mr. Chairman, I second that motion. Thank you, David. Okay, I have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Let the record show three in favor. Are there any opposed? The uh, two members are not with us tonight, so uh, the motion passes. So you have your extension. Great. Thank you. Thank you, are. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yep. Yep. No, it's uh believe me, with all of the stuff that's going on, any way we can help, we're willing to help. That's, that's yeah, and keeping us in the loop is really important. Yeah, really. Yeah, that's really you good know. because it helps us uh, if we if we um if, if a time comes up as our opportunity comes up for us to you know move forward, we can we'll be able to do it. So good. Okay. thank you. Okay. Appreciate you. Okay. Have a good night. Thank you. Yep. Good night. Thank you. Yep. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you, Danielle. You're welcome. Yeah. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yep. Bye -bye. yep. So, uh, <laughs> did you have anything else that you wanted to work on tonight? or? So actually, while we're here, and we did have it on the agenda, and I think it's very, very brief, um, if we could just go ahead and do the um, vote to endorse the final plans for 205 Main Street. That was the dentist's office site plan review that we did last uh, April 2019. 
Um, I think they didn't realize that they needed to and they just never got around to getting the plans endorsed, but they're ready to go ahead and apply for a building permit. And the plans that we have, uh, the April 2019 plans are the final plans with no changes. So I think we're fine to go ahead and, um, and, and vote to endorse those. You know, there was one concern I had. Um, you know, they've got the dumpster location. It doesn't, they didn't give us a detail if they're putting concrete down. It's going to, that's asphalt there now. And you know what happens when you put a dumpster down and you take it up 6,000 times, it, it yeah, makes gouges the, the asphalt. asphalt and it can't be cleaned well. And I think, you know, they may have an issue with the uh, health department if they try to put that down in asphalt. Because we do have uh, somewhere in our bylaws, we have something stating how to build a, 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 a dumpster area. Pad. Right. Yeah, dump, well, you call it. They, they, it's, it requests that they put down a dumpster pad, and the pad uses right. concrete. Right. Right. Now, was this a is this a dumpster pad that's already there, or is this a new dumpster pad? I think it's new because it's in their parking okay. lot. I don't think it's an existing one. It doesn't say it on the plan. Okay. That it's existing. I, will, I think what I'll do is um, I'll get in touch with them tomorrow and let them know um, that I, I guess you know we didn't really catch it the when we reviewed the plans, but they are required to use concrete and not asphalt. Um, and I, and I'll let them know they, they're going to have a, a problem with the board of health if it's not. I, I think way. they will. Cause he's tough. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, can we, do you want us to put it in as a, as a part of the motion? No, no, I don't. Um, okay. That's just a question. If that's an existing requirement, we should just hold them to it. Okay. But then, yeah, yeah, check with them and make sure that that's what they're doing and point out to them that they need to make sure that's how it's done. Yes, I will um, do that. And if you, if you uh, get any pushback from them, tell them they'll have to uh, show it on the plan. Okay. I will that's do that. all. In okay. which case, we'd have to rehear it, you know? I think I you'll be okay. Yeah. okay. yeah. I will let them know. Okay, good. Um, and there's a motion for that, too. Um, I have it. Okay. Mr. Pierce? Mr. Aiden. I move that the Community Planning Commission vote to endorse the plans entitled 205 Main Street, North Reading, Massachusetts, dated February 26, 2019, revised March 7, 2007, drawn by LJR Engineering. Is that, should be 2020 or, uh, or 19? 2019. That must be an error. Sorry about that. I think it's a type error. It must be a typo. Uh, it's, it's 2019. If you look at the plan, is there a, a plan date on it? Yeah, 1-4-15-19. Um, uh, yeah, there we go. So that's actually even later. That's that's April 15th, 19. So it was revised again, or that was the day they signed it. It could be. Is that, the, that, may be, is that a final revision with date? Is that... Um. Just looking at that first sheet, and then uh, look, look stamped it behind it for four fifteen. Um, but that's also the date in the title block too. Okay, well that would be the date of the plan then. Yeah, four fifteen nineteen on all sheets. Oh, I do see the original date of of February twenty sixth. So, um, so we should have last revised. Yeah, last revised. Four fifteen nineteen. 41519, drawn by LJI Engineering Incorporated. Do you want me to read it again, or is that all right? Well, you might, for Debbie's uh, edification, you might want to start from the beginning and give her a clean, all right. a clean read. <clears throat> I move that the Community Planning Commission vote to endorse the plans entitled 205 Main Street, North Reading, Massachusetts, dated February 26, 2009, last revised. April 15th, 2019, drawn by LJR Engineering Incorporated. Mr. Pierce, a second motion. Okay, thank you. I have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion or any questions? Hearing none, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Let the record show three in favor, no opposed. There were no other members present at this time. Okay. Um, I don't have any agenda in front of me, so what do we have? Do we have something else on that you wish to work, Gil? 
ZBA. Well, we just, yeah, we just were able to get these in here today. Um, so if we want, if we have time to go through them, there are only three of them, uh, two home occupations and one a special permit for a, a business and local business. Um, Oh, which one was a special? So I thought they're all occupations. So was it 33? Um, 140 was... Park Street. That one is, um, yeah. it sounds That's... like a special use permit. Uh, it's in local business and it's a health coach um, in the local oh. business district. Mm. Yeah, that's, that's traffic. But I mean, well, as long as they have the parking on site, you can't park on, on Park Street. There's not really any place to park there. That's that's two doors down from the inspection station to the east. I believe it's two doors or two buildings. Do you want me to put a note that we suggest they consider traffic? Yeah, just um, parking. Parking, okay. Ad adequate parking for, for their, their customers. Okay. It's gotta be off street and they can't park in the library. Okay. That's right across, across the street. I'll be right back. I'm going to grab my iPad. I didn't bring it with me. Dang. Do you want me to share the view of the uh, the front of the house? You can do that if you want to. Yeah, let me uh, get done. Yeah, you guys see that? The one with the mature tree, right, David? I believe so, right here. Yeah, yeah, that's I meant two doors down. And the inspections, you can see the inspection station. Yep. Um, I mean, they may have adequate parking in the back, but you can see there's really not parking on Main Street there, or on uh, Park Street. Okay. And that, that lovely crosswalk goes right across the street to the library parking area, parking yeah. lot. Right. Maybe we'll recommend a special condition that they just note that there is no parking for this at the library because yeah. that's a problem in this part of town. So. It is. Uh, there's enough problem when the uh, there's a funeral. I mean, he tries to keep them out of there, but people park there anyways. <clears throat> okay. 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 Thank you for that, David. Yep. Okay. Okay, so uh, da, 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 let's see. so what do we think that that's not parking is the only real issue they have there? Yeah, I can't see them having a lot of if it's if it's a health coach and it's 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 one customer at a time, not a big deal. I mean, they could have two customers crossing over for each other. It's not like they're going to have a a big, uh, hopefully not have a big exercise class somewhere in that <laughs> house. Um, and uh but yeah parking is an important because the sidewalk runs right into the right right into the uh driveway of their house basically from this the library and that might have been what they were thinking oh we'll just have them park next door but that gets pretty busy over there <clears throat> yeah but that's a, that's a residential property well i suppose it's in general business district though right it's it's local business. Local business yeah, district. local business. Local business. District. Some so small they, business is allowed. Um, special mm -hmm. permit. But they're they're talking a home occupation business here. No, this isn't a home occupation special permit. This is just a. I think it's just a special use permit. Um, mm -hmm. In local business, so let me actually. I can go to the. Uh, well, to I think the, everything in in the local business district requires a uh, hearing. You know. Uh, I I think it does. Yeah, so it's almost uh, everything is special permit. Yeah, everything special permit. So, so basically, they go on, but but I I I thought that was a residential property. There. It is a residential property, warrant from from driving by it all the time. But it's located in in the local, the local business, business district. But it means that someone's going to be bringing people into their house as opposed to an established uh, business, Office. right? Yeah. An established business location right yeah mr chairman it, it does on the application it says we're in the house garage and then it says the business name is ativo fitness 
health coach, so likely some sort of gym type of so they gotta, setup. So they got to convert the garage. So they're converting the garage over to a um, um, commercial but, uh, use. Yeah. I think again, I don't know other than it's ZBA's call ultimately, but I would just be careful about, and it's their job to do this, but the precedent of if it starts to involve two, three, four people at a time, it's it's now it's not really just that kind of yeah. home business. Yeah. 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 If it was a home occupation business, they couldn't have the people coming there. It has to be a local business type business, um, which right. Right. that's true. Yeah. So so um, I don't know how. Uh, um, I mean, I guess a garage can become a, a business location in a local it, business district. Yeah. For that, I thought they had to have a bathroom too, but maybe not. Well, I think the building inspector would have something to say about yeah. the, the um, yeah, because yeah, because the uh, acceptability of that as as a uh, business location. <clears throat> So I'm just looking at the zoning table in local business. Um, you can do by special permit, um, personal and consumer service establishment, e excluding massage. So I think this would probably fall under that as a, as a candidate for a special permit. But I assume that for this type of business, they'd have to meet all the regular building departments, you know, all the regular building codes about. Well, it seems to me that if you do something that, that mimics, if you will, a health club, or, or, or that kind of a thing, that there is a requirement for bathrooms and showers and things like that. I would think so. so yeah, at least uh, bathrooms, if not a shower. Yeah. I mean, you know. Well, you know, I would, so I would probably <coughs> recommend that the Board of Appeals look at the requirements for uh, personal training or something, whatever they're going to do there, as far as uh, personal hygiene goes. Okay. Um, do you and parking. Also Okay. Um, and do you also want me to mention, I know David brought up uh, possibly looking at limits on the number of um, clients that could be in at the same time? I think the parking is going to at some point limit the, the, the amount of uh, people that can be in that, in that site. Um, I think there's actually a, a, a driveway that goes in there that goes back a ways and it opens up a little bit, if I recall. So yeah, might, be a <coughs> might be a little bit of room for parking back there, but I don't think a lot. So we might want to say parking. Excuse me. We might want to say parking needs to be on site. Yeah. Because you know I they got. Is there a limit to on site parking, and um, uh, you know, personal hygiene, bathroom, showers, etc. Over this kind of a business, it, seem, it seems to me that's the kind of business that would require those kind of facilities. So let's uh, you want to put that down, okay? And and I'm sorry, what did we say about limits on number of clients? Did you want me to mention that as well? Well, I mean, parking is going to limit. <laughs> they may want to limit. limit you know, just put limit number of clients at any given time in the question mark. Okay. And then, of course, parking, and then, of course, uh, personal hygiene. Gotcha. You know, bathrooms, showers, etc., if they're required for this kind of a use. Board of Health and um, Building Department will answer those questions for them. To our home occupations. Used car auction business and. Yes. Yeah, I don't, he's not going to have cars in his house. At least that's not, a, it says it's not. I think he understands what a home occupancy permit means. He just wants to be able to, to have his own office and make his calls from there. I don't, I don't know this gentleman, so. Looks like he's trying to do similar to a Carvana thing where he buys the car and ships it directly to the client. Yeah, or he may be, you know, these guys, they sit in their office and they look at online auction stuff 
and then they go to the auction, Warren, to buy it. But they're looking at this. Is there anything interesting at this auction? Am I going to go? So that might be what he's well, doing. Well, they even actually go because they can bid online, you know? I mean, yeah, they can bid online, right. And they can have their so tow company a, pick it up. Buyer and that says, if, if they got a buyer that says, I want to have a 2016 Jetta, and he yep. says, okay, it's going to cost you this much money, and then he finds one and ships it to him. Right. I mean, right. I guess so, it could be fun, but my fear is that if the client doesn't accept the car, where does it go? Yeah. I don't know. He has on his application here type of business, buying, selling used cars at auction only. Uh, the name of the business is Omar Transport LLC. Then where in the house? No cars at house, semicolon, offices above, house garage. Well, I, uh, I, I, no cars will be parked at our home address besides our family private use autos. That's uh, quote unquote. Yeah, yeah, I think. No, uh, I know how this car business thing works, and I, and the possibility of you suddenly, if he doesn't have some kind of an off-site site where he can store a car that doesn't, doesn't, if it doesn't work, you know, if the deal doesn't go down, what happens right. to the car? Does it go back to the auction, or? I mean, I, well, I would, no, that's a good question. <laughs> we can ask. We can let the board of appeals ask those questions. You know, I don't know if we want to pose them to them um, ahead of time, but um, but um, uh, they can certainly ask the question: What happens to the car if the client doesn't accept it? Where does it go? Okay. <clears throat> and, and we can just state again that there's no parking of unregistered cars on site because right. he's right. not going to register a car and sell it. You know, the, the, the buyer would be registering it. So, right. So, the question is, does he have an auxiliary location that he could store one if it doesn't? If the deal he doesn't may. Out? He well, just may right. be doing this here because it's quiet and, and, and cleaner. Yeah. Because you know, yeah. car shops are not clean. Yeah. You can, uh, he can ask that. The Board of Appeals can ask that question. It's just a right. question that probably ought to be asked. Yep. Okay. That's all. Yeah. Right. And I'll just say it here to the home occupation bylaw. Of course. Awesome. Okay. Great. And then for Oak, mm -hmm. this is a home occupation for selling software and IT services. Uh, <sighs> An application seems pretty <clears throat> simple. Just yeah. First floor office activity during COVID-19, <laughs> like a lot of people, mostly on the computer, no customer visits at all, no autos in my, is that autos? No, I can read this. I, yeah, I can't read it. I think it says no noise. Any. Or noise or any unusual activities. Unusual activities, right. yeah. You know those unusual activities, those are the <laughs> <laughs> they get them every time. <laughs> oh, it says no customer visits at all unusual. or any unusual activities. Okay. It sounds like it fits in with, with the bylaw. Yeah. You know, um, and the, the whole thing is, is uh, you got to, on all of these, so you have to have that uh, neighbor complaint. If they stop violating these things, they, the, what's going to happen? The neighbor has to complain. Then it'd have to go back to the ZBA, I guess. <clears throat> so I, well, I don't think there's any. The past, if, I mean, I think probably this one sounds pretty straightforward. Yeah. But on the auto one, they might want to put a one-year renewal on it. On the auto uh, one. Sorry, yeah. on, on the auto one. Okay. On the auto one, they might want to put a one-year renewal to make sure that it's you know that they it doesn't have twelve cars in his yard. And um, but but on this one, software that one sounds pretty benign. What about that health coach one too? You could yeah, do that. Put a one year renewal on that one. Too. Yeah, that way, it's, if they start parking over in the library and the library starts complaining about it. Yeah, they could do that. But I, but I, I actually believe that the Board of Health might, you know, when you do personal training, you need to provide a certain amount of, uh, yeah. you know, um, um, services. <clears throat> have a place to do certain things, you know. So if, you run a, if you're running a fitness place, that's a personal training thing. 
Yep. And that means exercising and doing things so they could build up, put all this equipment in the garage, but without a proper bathroom, um, and, it may, and it may have to be handicapped accessible too. So I mean, there's that. So you can't deny people. So I, I, I don't know what the what the ruling is, but it occurs to me that there's got to be some kind of a um, health aspect to this. And Mr. Pierce, I like the idea of the one year renewal in these different situations where, you know, they need to really almost prove themselves that the business sure. is going to run further application. And I think sure. that what helps is it helps the neighbor not become the person that has to be, um, right. you know, Plaintiff, they they have their you know it puts it back on on the person the applicant as it should be so that yeah, I think right. that's a really, that's a very artful way of doing it and it's very fair. I, I think we should do that on that one, yeah, as well. Yeah, it works with those other things like the online store things. You know, people are making cookies and they're selling them. We we've done that many times in the past. Yeah, I've always wondered about how health gets involved in that. You know, whether they do or not. You know, but they're supposed to. Yeah. I believe they do. Okay, so so that's fine. So they make sure the kitchens are clean. So I think this is a this the fitness thing is a similar situation where health probably has a say in in how that how that works. You know. Yeah, and they would know. So. You know, I mean, if as a fitness business, what you were doing was organizing uh, runs or something where people never come to the house, they all go to. Um, a particular location and then do a race or something and then go home. That's one thing, but it just sounds to me like they plan on having the people come to their house and come to their garage and do fitness training, which means that they are now, you know, in a situation where there may be, you know, a change of clothes or, you know, you know what I mean? Yep. There should be a health, uh, some kind of a health input on that. So let's do that with a one year renewal or uh, uh, recommend that. Let's recommend the one year renewal on that one as well. Get that. Okay. okay. Do you want to uh, do the minutes? Has anybody read them? Yep. If I can get there. Yeah, Chris, you uh, 818-2020. Mr. Pierce. I move that we accept the minutes of August the 18th, 2020, as written. Mr. Pierce, I second the motion. <laughs> I was hoping you would, Dave. <laughs> I was like, so we have a motion by Mr. A and a second by Dave Rubloff. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Let the record show three in favor, no opposed, and other two members are not at tonight's meeting. Okay. It's living in the quorum. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just, just us three. Just us three. <laughs> Done it before, Dave. It's oh, fun. I know. Sure you have, Mr. Hayes. <laughs> okay, are we all set then? What else? Do we have anything else, Danielle? No, no, we can keep this brief. Just a reminder of town meeting Saturday at 11. October the 3rd at 11 p.m. 11 a.m. Right? Yeah, yeah, would be fun. Sorry? We can jack it. It's going to be cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah but it's going to be sunny. On that field. Yeah. Fall On that sunny, it'll be warm. On the field, it'll be warm. Yeah, I don't know. It'll be cool. It'll be a little wind. Bring a jacket. Yeah, yeah. Oh, got to bring a jacket. Got to be prepared. <laughs> <clears throat> all righty. We're all set. All right. Well, so. Okay, Thanks, Good everybody. Night. We'll talk Thanks to you on Saturday. It. And sorry, you guys, about the last minute. Thanks for moving it for to, to today. That's okay. Hey. You what happens, on. David? Right. We'll see you guys. Okay. Take care. Good night, Bye. all. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night, Danielle. Good, good night, Warren. Yep. Good night, guys. Good night, Phil. <laughs> good night, Phil. <laughs>